this aircraft model from Hepperwings was rather delayed and there were a few reasons for that, but one of them was issues with the print. But did Herpa manage to solve that before releasing the model? we we'll find out right after the drop. that hello and welcome to a new episode of review where we today will take a closer look at an Airbus A320-200 of Eurowings. At the front of the box we have the cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside and at the top of the box we have the Eurowings and Hertz branding. Then on the back side of the box we have a lovely image of the aircraft in real life and the Eurowings branding once more but that's about it for the box. So with no further ado let's take a closer look inside and at the aircraft model itself. And here she is, the Airbus A320-200 of Eurowings in the Hertz livery. Now this model, as I said in the beginning of the video, was heavily delayed by Harper Wings in the beginning because of issues with the print, and then later because Hertz, the rental company, went into Chapter 11 bankruptcy, and that caused some issues with the licensing. But after all, Harper sorted it out and managed to release the model. So is it any good? We'll find out by checking it out. And we start off with the tail section, where we on the vertical stabilizer have the Hertz branding. On the fuselage we then have the 100 years Hertz anniversary logo, we also have the company slogan of Hertz, as well as the flag of the European Union, the German flag and the full registration code of the aircraft. At the very tail of the aircraft we then also have a little bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. At the front of the aircraft we then again have the writing of Eurowings and underneath the cockpit windows we have the Eurowings branding. That leads us to the cockpit section itself, which unfortunately is rather bare boned. We have the cockpit windows and the window wipers. But but that's all we get here. Then we can also take a quick look at the engines or more specifically the engine cells. They have been kept in all white. So the only printed detail we really get here is simply the addition of the silver leading edge. And in my opinion, that is rather underwhelming. Help, I could really have improved these engines with just a few printed details that would have done a huge difference. The physical detailing overall, I think, however, is rather okay. Uh, for example, here, when we look into the engines from the front, we can very nicely see the engine fan blades. Then on the fuselage, just above the wings, we have the emergency exits printed on, and that of course leads us straight to the wings, which we should definitely also take a closer look at. And we start off with the top side, where we have the different flaps, slats, and spoilers carved out very nicely. We also have the markings for the emergency exits printed on as well. Also, the underside, I think, is fairly decently detailed. That is definitely quite all right. And what I really like on the wings are actually the wingtip fences. This is a point where I think Harper is doing really well these days. That just looks very nice, in my opinion. And then we should also take a quick look here at the landing gear. That is the standard landing gear that Harper uses for all their A320 family aircraft models, where I don't mind that so much as for the main landing gear, because I think that looks rather decent. But I'm not so happy about the looks of the front landing gear for me it's too wide too thick too just not detailed enough and it's been much better in previous versions so a shame then we of course also have a printed detail on the belly of the aircraft the Eurowings branding unfortunately that has been ruined by a completely pointless hole in the fuselage for a stand which is not included with this aircraft model and then last but not least we also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here in the back side of the aircraft and here at the front of the aircraft so there we have it, the Airbus A320-200 of Eurowings in the Hertz special livery from Happy Wings in scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? Well, overall, it is a rather standard A320 model from Harper Wings with all the good things and all the bad things that come with that. But for me, the main reason to get this aircraft model is simply the livery. Me personally, I think the livery is great. I really like it, and that's the reason why I bought the model. But there are some things we need to talk about. As I mentioned, the aircraft model had been quite quite delayed. Now, one of the reasons for that was that Hertz went into Chapter 11 bankruptcy and that caused some licensing issues. That's out of control of Harper and they shouldn't be blamed for that. In fact, they actually managed to solve these issues and release the model, which is great. But the initial delay of this model came from an issue in the print. Harper never fully explained what the issue actually was, but when I look at the model, I can have a pretty good guess at what the problem might have been. Because when we look at the solid yellow color and the transition over to the yellow squares, we can see a very noticeable cut. And the real aircraft does not have that. So Hapa spent all these months trying to solve their printing issue and then didn't fix it and released the model anyway. 
I mean, come on. And I know I should probably get more angry about this laziness from Harper Wings, but honestly speaking, at this point, I care as much about Harper as they do about their customers. Not at all. So with that once again disappointing new release from Happy Wings, it is time to end today's episode. If you have enjoyed the video nonetheless, I hope you have so, then feel free to leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. With that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.